imagine I film this entire thing and then I go look at it and it's like not on focus the entire time. I'm still gonna fucking upload it because ugh. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing my go-to makeup for spring because spring is here and I'm changing my makeup a little bit. Um, I've been using a darker foundation, the wrong foundation this entire time. Um, but now I'm gonna be, I bought my shade. So things are gonna look a little weird because I don't wanna throw this away. So I'm still gonna use it, but just like mix it with the other foundation. It is looking a little harsh, but don't worry, we still have a long way to go before we finish. I'm gonna take a very light concealer. I've put concealer in these places. I'll spray my face with setting spray um, just to give that extra glow, plus for more full coverage with my concealer. So when I blend it out, it's like more, um, more, more full coverage. In the meantime, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows oh wait now for my eyelids um i'm just gonna use a glowy color um a glowy not glowy sorry gold brown um what is that what I want? Yep, that is exactly what I want. Okay. And just put it all over my lid. It's just more full coverage because I let it sit for a couple of minutes. I just want that really bright under eye. And also I put concealer after blush so that I'm able to kind of blend everything seamlessly. As opposed to 
most of this. Okay, now I'm gonna put setting powder on top. <clears throat> the reason why I love setting powder and why I cannot leave the house without setting powder is because um, the makeup stays longer and like more matte when setting powder is used because um, your face naturally produces oils and you have like literally stuff sitting on your face obviously the oils are just gonna be more obvious so when you put on a powder it literally sets the face um, and your makeup just first of all looks ten times better um, you see now it's a little bit oily and I just like to put the setting powder just where I oil a lot which is like my t-zone like this area um I sweat on my like like nose and like upper lip area so when I put the powder there I will still sweat but the makeup won't budge which is like super weird to think about and like kind of gross but it works so and I don't really bake anymore I just like to pat the powder in um I don't know this is just what I like to do and put the tiniest amount up here because when you sweat or when you get oily like there are certain places on your face that are just like super obvious that you're oily and I like to only put powder here and not anywhere else the blush has kind of dimmed down so I'm gonna add more blush but a lighter shade um, so it looks like a gradient effect so you see dark pink and then it goes into a lighter pink ooh I'm gonna do the same thing on this side I'm only doing it on the blended area not on the actual blush so just like right above the blush and in between where the concealer was blended just right over there Because I'm going into work, I'm sure people are gonna say something. I'm like, well, actually, I don't, but I will ask for opinions. I'm like, do you like my makeup today? Is it too much? I'm just gonna go over with a sponge to like blend it all in. Okay, now I'm gonna take. Okay, now for hello, the glow. <laughs> the glow part. Personally, we'll always use um, gold highlighter because it just looks better on my skin tone. I like to do it on my eyebrow, brow bone, and connect it to my cheek. And then I'm gonna take the tiniest amount for my nose. And then inner corner of my eye. And then cheek, cheek, chin. Another layer of setting spray. The setting spray will literally help melt all your makeup into your skin so that it looks more it doesn't look cakey even though i have like five layers of makeup on but my secret for my makeup to look good is that i actually want like the pores and my bumps to be seen but i want the makeup to look glowy did I even make sense? Whatever. 
you'll you'll figure it out on your own. I bought these lashes like three years ago. I've never used them. I tried using them once, but I'm gonna attempt to use them today because um, my lashes are actually growing and I love how they look, but I wish they were longer towards the end of my eye because I like that cat eye effect. Um, but I don't wanna wear like a whole, like, like a whole strip of lash. Instead, I just want to focus on the edge here. Hmm. I'm like wondering if I should add a little bit of wing. One of my issues, right, is that I actually own a lot of makeup. I buy makeup and I actually have everything that I need, but whenever I do need it, I can't fucking find it at all. It's, it's never there when I genuinely need it. So I can't find my eyeliner and I'm using a pointed, slanted, pointed brush and using a black eyeshadow and using that as my liner today, which is completely fine. <sighs> do you see how beat up this brush is? <laughs> Sometimes I buy minis from places. This is Huda Beauty mascara. It's my absolute favorite. I would buy a big, the big like size, but I already have enough mascaras, so I'm just going to not do that to myself. And I spend quite a lot of time on just doing mascara because my eyes your eye makeup will make or break your entire face make or break you know what I mean See, I wish this part was longer. Waterproof mascara for my lower lashes because um, my lashes, like the mascara, spreads to the bottom of my like it literally. I look like a raccoon, like I'll have dots on my under eye because the mascara spread downward. So I use a waterproof one so it doesn't spread as much. I always take the excess off because I don't want my bottom lashes to be clumpy. I just want them to have a little bit of mascara on. I don't know. I don't want it to be clumpy. The length. Yeah, maybe I just want it to be a little thicker and more prominent. I'm just gonna do one off camera and then I'll come back because 
Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally the same size as my real lashes. Yeah, this is a no for me. I'm just gonna have to not use that on myself. Okay, lip liner. I'm gonna use a, if you've been watching me, my four videos, you know that brown lip liners are a must. Um, you just need to find the right one. This is from the TikTok shop. Um, dark brown deluxe. I'll try and find the link because this is so good. It's like close to my... It looks natural. Like other lip liners. Like, oh, that's a nice lip liner. You know what I mean? You, it's obvious that I'm wearing a lip liner with this one. It looks natural. Like, look at that. It's literally my lip skin color. Okay. Beautiful. I'll take, like, any pink, um... This is a this is more of a lip balm. Yeah, this is a tinted lip balm. And I just like to touch my lips with this. So that there's a little bit of pinkness. Like I don't want too much of it. That's my lip balm. I'm gonna do lip gloss. I personally love a nice glittery pink lip gloss that's just in me I love I love a juicy lip this is my go to spring makeup setting spray once more I am going to try and be more active, but um, my life is not active, so there's nothing to film, so don't know what I'm going to do, but I really do want to like do YouTube, but I just, what do I do on YouTube is the question, so.